In this video, we are going to learn how to modify certain elements of the head section of an HTML document in Blazor. The idea is the following. As you can see, we have here the head element of the index.html document and here we have certain tags like meta, title and link. In the past, if we wanted to modify things like the title of the page, we had to use JavaScript, but in .NET 5, now we have three new components that will allow us to make modifications to these tags very easily. We have the meta component, the title component, and the link component. And as their names imply, they can be used to modify these elements that we have here. Let's see an example. Let me go to Google Chrome, and here as you can see we have this component in which we can increment or decrement this counter that we have here but I would like to be able to, as I am editing this number that we have here, I want to put that number here in the title of the page. And also, I want to change this title that we have here, which comes from the index.html file, because I want that each component has its own title. This is something really easy to do now in .NET 5. Let's go to Visual Studio and let's go to our component and see this. Here I have this variable called title, which represents the new title that I want for the page when the user comes into this component. So what I can do is to use the new title component. For that I can say title, and notice something, notice that this is title in uppercase, while this is title in lowercase. So now let's go back here, and I will say value and I will just put title here in reference to this variable that we have here. And that's actually it for editing the title of the page into this value. Let's see that. Let's go back here and let's refresh. And as you can see, we have here influencing head, which is the title that we wanted to put. Now, let's see that we can also dynamically edit this value, this title that we have here. For that, we're going to go to this increment count method, which is the one that gets fire when the user clicks on the increment or decrement buttons. And here we want to say the following. I want to put the value of the current count variable if this value is different than zero. So I will say if current count is equal to zero, then I will just say title here. But if it isn't, then I will put the value of the current count here inside of parentheses. For that, I will use a string interpolation. So I will say here, current count. And that's actually it. Now that I am editing this variable that we have here, this is going to be reflected here, which will be also reflected in the title of the HTML document. Let's see that. Let's go back here, let's refresh. And let's see that if I press on increment, we have one here. And I can do it again and again and again. And as you can see, this is being dynamically edited. And if I click on decrement, you can see that it is going down. And if we go to zero, then the parentheses goes away. Now, in certain applications, when the application wants to catch the attention of the user, they sometimes edit the fab icon so that the user notices that there is something going on. We can do that. Let's go back to Visual Studio and let's see that in the Solution Explorer, in the www root, I have two fav icons. I have the normal fav icon and I have a fav icon message. And this fav icon message has a red dot here with which we are going to indicate that there is something going on in the page. Now let's go back here to index.html and let's see that the fav icon is configured through a link tag. Therefore, we can use the new link component to dynamically edit this value that we have here. So let's do that. Let's go back here and let's go here. And I want to do the following. If the value of current count is zero, I want to use the normal favicon. I want to use the favicon.ico. And otherwise, I want to use favicon.message. So let's do that. Let's go here and I will actually copy this and I will paste it here. I will say first, if current count is equal to zero, then I will put this here, but I will use uppercase to use the component. I'll say else, same here, I will use uppercase, but here I will say 
dash message and that's it. With this, the fav icon will be dynamically edited. Let's refresh here to see that. I'll click on increment. And as you can see, we not only edited the title, we also edited the fav icon. We can keep incrementing this. And as you can see, we're using the second fav icon. And if we decrement all the way to zero, you can see that now we are using the normal fav icon. So as you can see, with the new components title and link, we can edit the title and link elements of the page respectively. And we also have a meta component in order to dynamically edit meta tag of the HTML head. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And also I have a Udemy course on Blazor. So if you want to learn how to build Blazor applications from scratch, check out my course today. Thank you.